Today is September 20th, on which we commemorate John Coleridge Patterson, Bishop of Melanesia, and his companions, martyrs. By the mid-19th century, slavery had been outlawed in the British Empire, but in the far-flung islands of the South Pacific, there was a thriving black market in human trafficking. The illegal slave traders, called blackbirders, would descend upon the small islands and brutally kidnap young native men. Many times, anyone who resisted the blackbirders was beheaded as an example. The slaves were taken to plantations in Australia and other places where they worked in harsh conditions never to return. The British failed to enforce the prohibition of slavery and slave trading and did nothing to end the barbarity. Into this world came the Oxford-educated English curate John Coleridge Patterson in 1855. First serving in New Zealand, Patterson traveled to the Norfolk Islands where he established a school for boys and a seminary to train native leaders for the church. Here, Patterson believed that the Melanesians should be taught the faith and how to share it in their own culture, without being encouraged to adopt Western customs, language, or dress. A gifted linguist himself, Patterson soon learned to speak more than 20 different South Pacific languages and made a translation of the Gospels into the Mota language, the lingua franca of the region. In 1861, he was consecrated Bishop of Melanesia, with responsibility for islands spread out over 1,800 miles of ocean. It was Bishop Patterson's practice to personally visit as many islands as he could, always swimming ashore alone, wearing a top hat full of gifts for the natives. His gentleness and humility won him many friends and converts. Many islands, however, did not welcome Patterson because they did not distinguish him from a blackbirder, a problem confounded by the fact that Patterson wished to take young men from the island to study at his school. On several occasions, he was forced to flee islands when met by hostile natives, once losing two of his Melanesian assistants to poisoned arrows. Undeterred, Patterson continued his work until this day in 1871, when he swam ashore alone onto Nakapu, in the Solomon Islands. There he met natives who only days before had seen their sons murdered before their eyes by blackbirders. In retaliation and confusion, a grieving man murdered Bishop Patterson as he shared a meal with the islanders. Later, when they came to retrieve the bishop's body, his party was also attacked and several others were killed. The death of Bishop Patterson finally brought the atrocities of blackburning to the attention of the British public. An outcry arose and the British government was finally forced to crack down on the illegal slave trade in the South Pacific. Today, Patterson is warmly remembered by the people he came to help in Christ's name. And the vibrant Anglican Church of Melanesia stands as a monument to his martyrdom. Let us pray. Almighty God, you called your faithful servant John Coleridge Patterson and his companions to be witnesses and martyrs in the islands of Melanesia, and by their labors and sufferings raised up a people for your own possession. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon your church in every land, that by the service and sacrifice of many your holy name may be glorified and your kingdom enlarged through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.